Yeah, I, I got access. It was easy. No one was watching, so I just escalated my privileges, just like you said, and inserted the payload. It's making a rogue copy of the database right now. That was the day it started. The day the risks became clear to us all. We had created little digital versions of ourselves, and they were everywhere. But while we were busy building the information highway, no one thought to secure the data in the database where it lived. We interrupt your programming to bring you a breaking news bulletin. This just in, in an unprecedented data theft, hundreds of millions of personal records have walked out of a major retailer today. It could be the result of a password attack, a buffer overflow, or a SQL injection. Regardless of the source, however, it marks a seminal event in a new wave of cyber crime. While the details are still coming out, what we do know is that these records were taken directly from the database. Scores of banks are involved, and the true extent of this theft may never be known. To tell us more about what may have happened, we've assembled a panel of experts. First, we'll hear from Andrew P. Snow, professor at Rand University. The threats have shifted, and attacks are increasing about 30% every year. Responsible companies need to protect their data. That's where the risk is. That's what the thieves are targeting now. One thing is for certain. Database security is important to everyone. You see, companies, banks, retailers, hospitals, all store your information in the database. These vast repositories, often containing terabytes of data, have been left largely unprotected. Thieves, known as hackers or crackers, penetrate the perimeter defenses to find the most valuable data available for the taking. This is a great score. Millions of records, each worth about $8 on the black market. It could be months before the victims even know they were hit. The hackers would be long gone by then. Well, that's what we have for now. We'll keep you updated as the story continues to develop. For now, this has been Angel Micarelli with your Cybercrime Update.